everybody, it's Michael from Aerial Influence. We're doing number two of our three-part series, and it's mapping, planning, and executing. So basically what we're doing is we're mapping with the P4 RTK. We're taking it into Terra um, and stitching that map. And then the third thing would be to basically output that map and that mission to the T10 or the T30. In our case, we're going to use a T10 and show you how you can do different things with the map um, after you've planned and then send it to the drone. So if we go into Terra, we've already acquired all the images. And the first two you can see I have, I had to actually restitch, uh, I had to stitch two of them. Um, one of them is for fruit tree. So that's going to be where you're doing like spot spraying individual trees or an orchard, that kind of thing. And then the other one was field. Uh, they're just kind of set up a little bit differently. Um, and I wanted to kind of separate that, uh, because it, it is a different mission. And so I use the same pictures and everything. It was just the same flight. I just essentially, uh, ran the map under fruit tree and stitched it and then ran the map again under field and stitched it again. So we'll start with the field. So we click the reconstruction here. We've already gotten the reconstruction. We can take off, we can toggle on and off where it uh, took the pictures. And then you go down to agricultural application. So we click that and hit OK. And so it gives you adding a boundary point in your field. Left click to add boundary points, right click to exit. And it gives you another little note. You need at least one calibration point to complete the field plan. So hit OK. It's kind of neat because down here at the bottom, if you see, it says others. And it's got uh, gray building. It says uh, it has yellow pole. It actually can somewhat, and I think what it's doing, it's, it's using some type of like, um, I don't know if you want to call it machine vision or, or some type of algorithm where it's probably taking like, okay, the placement of uh, poles is going to be, you know, at certain heights, that kind of stuff. So it's, it's, it's not always going to be, you know, perfect because I think it's got a limited capability of saying, okay, this is definitely a building or this is definitely a road, but, uh, based on height structure, that kind of stuff, it can kind of throw this stuff in and, and, and it actually helps out pretty good when you're doing it in the, um, the uh, fruit tree mode because it can identify trees and, uh, we'll get into that later though. So, um, what we're going to do here is this is the mission planning right here. So right here it shows boundary and here is the calibration point. So essentially what, what you're going to want to do is, is try to have some type of, for the calibration point, it's going to be like a, a takeoff point uh, for your drone. So, um, you know, if you can, have something in the map where you can uh, put that calibration pin, uh, basically where you're going to take off with the drone. Um, that is that's probably the best best scenario. Um, sometimes when you don't have something like what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll, I'll end up zooming in and using one of these cross sections where the concrete is where it's kind of split. Uh, I'll just, I'll use, I'll put a calibration point basically right where the X meets the spot type of thing. And, um, and that, that's where I'll take off and that's where I'll put the calibration point. So it kind of coincides with everything. All right. So I'm going to just do a box And actually, I'll probably make this a little bit smaller just because limited time, you don't want to necessarily see the whole, well, maybe some people do want to see the whole thing fly, but you know, I don't know if seeing it over, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, you know, uh, 20 times. But, um, so right there, we've got our, our boundary box and 
then we go over and click calibration point. And like I said, I'm just going to take off from a point, like a known point. So let's see. I will. Do it right here. Okay. Okay. Now we go and hit generate route. And boom, we've got our route planned. Now, you can see how, so this was the box that I made. This is the area that I wanted to spray. Once I put in the boundary points, and then once I put in the calibration point, I was able to go down to the bottom and hit, uh, you know, generate route. And then it essentially gives you this, the, the route parameters. So right now it's just defaulting at route altitude of two meters. So you're basically six feet off the ground. The width is, you know, five meters. So depending on uh, what kind of coverage you're putting, you, you want, um, what the, the, the flight route width you want, um, you know, this is probably gonna be, let's see, we'll keep this set. Keep it at five. We'll keep the altitude at let's say two point five meters, and we're going to change the route angle. And you can kind of see if I change the route angle. See how we had now we have fewer lines, but they're longer. This it really is going to be probably better to do something like this because the more turns that the drone drone has to make the more inefficient it is you know obviously because it kind of almost stopping and rounding a corner um you, you can actually have it stop on a dime almost like a 90 degree and but they they've also put in uh where you can actually kind of round the corner so it's a little bit less taxing on on uh the battery, I guess, you know, rather than stopping and then making a right turn. So we'll, we'll, ch we'll change the route angle. So it's just more straight, straighter, longer lines rather than uh, a lot of smaller lines. Okay, so there we go. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that. Okay. So essentially we've got, we've got this, uh, this is, this is a, a field plan. So we've got the field planned. Um, and then from here, I normally, you know, I obviously I'll save it. And then, you know, DJI has, uh, an agricultural platform uh, management platform that um, I think they're they're going to be building up more and more. So you can actually upload this to kind of like a cloud based account, um, and then essentially you could probably just download it in the field if you had if you had uh, internet connection in the field. You could you know once it's in your your management uh, platform, you could then download it. But if for this case. I'm just gonna save it uh, so it'll export and it basically exports right to an SD card. Check to see if we've got an SD card. So if you if you don't, but if if there is an SD card in there, it'll basically package it nice and uh, exactly what you need as far as this, this. It's basically a proprietary save save as save as type is it's a DJI file. Um, so 
So we'll name this one, two, three, spray. And then within here, I'm just going to make another, uh, another um, folder. And I'm going to name this one field because this is our field. Or this, this one is our field mission. The next one I'll just basically do, you know, fruit tree mission. So we hit save. All right, so now it exports the mission. Uh, we keep it open during the exporting, obviously. Uh, and then we can either drag that over to a, a DJ, or, sorry, we can drag that over to an SD card and then from the S, uh, take that SD card and we pop it into the remote of the T10 or the T30 or the T20 or whatever spraying drone you're using. And uh, basically once that loads and we'll get to the, the third video, and we'll show you that, but it's essentially, you've got your mission right there and boom, you can execute it. All right, so we've exported that. We've done this field one and now we're gonna go back and we are going to do our fruit tree mission. Same thing, we go to reconstruction, tap that. We can get these points off. And in this case, we're going to hit agricultural application. Okay. Okay. And now this one looks a little bit different. So now it's showing, um, you know, others, the building, the pole, the ground, water. It's also showing fruit tree. So it's actually identifying off the bat from the Phantom 4 RTK, these trees. So now if I take off, I'm going to hit uh, take off display and you'll be able to see all these uh, pink spots are basically, uh, for the most part, pine trees or cottonwoods or This one's a, a tree that's fallen, but yeah. So you look down here, this is a tree. And then if we go to display results, it, 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 not, it noticed it, it identified it. For this one, we're gonna go to these little trees over here. So we put in some pine trees about two years ago. Got a couple dead ones. We'll have to put some new ones in. But anyways, uh, we hit uh, display result and you can see that it is showing almost all of those. Now it's showing the, uh, the little baby tractor down here as one, so we'll, we'll take that off. But um, the, the cool thing too, is that if it doesn't actually identify some of the trees in here, as long as you have about three trees identified, um, you can go in and you can modify the result. So you can go in and add these little uh, pink dots, so to speak, or you can take them off. Um, it, maybe there's a tree that you don't want to spray, um, something like that. And um, there, there are different types of spraying as, as well. So in here, it says continuous spray. And since we have more of a scattered uh, tree placement, um, we would actually go to spot spraying. So you can actually change, you can change this to continuous spraying. If it's, you know, you've got rows and rows of trees, then it's more of kind of a continuous spray that you're just wanting to get basically over the tops of the trees and basically stay um, on that line of, uh, on, on the track of that tr tree line. Um, so here we'll just, in our case, we're gonna do spot spraying. And you can also change this to kind of like a semi-automatic or tree crown center we're going to do tree crown center. So what it will do is it will basically, um, so if you see my cursor, it will essentially, you know, spray this tree and then stop, fly to this tree, spray. And you can actually have it just spray um, where it's flying kind of forward and it hovers for a little bit. Um, 
and and you, it's putting the product amount that you want or you can actually have it kind of have the the drone rotate as it's laying the product down um it just kind of depends on you know what what you want uh, maybe if you want it rotating it's going to maybe do a little bit more of a coverage or something um but i think either one would probably be fine it just obviously think everything is is somewhat um you can basically modify it to your your specific needs so yeah so if you see here this is what we're going to want to do we're going to want to modify the result and we do the editing tool of this little tree and now we can add another spot for this tree and add this one that one that one and there's a big tree right here so i'm actually going to take this one off and then you just hit delete right here so and now it has taken this one off so it will not spray this tree or this tree so now it's going to be spraying these trees right here i'm going to make sure i'm going to actually take these off because i don't really need to do this um, oops oops sorry Accidentally put one right there. And I'll take this guy off. All right, now we'll go back down here. And once we've basically edited all of our places that we want to spray, the spot spraying of the tree crown centers, we hit uh, the X. Okay. sorry we actually still have to do the mission planning area so we will go and do that okay and now we will do our calibration point just like we did before And sometimes you need to hit display off so you can see it a little bit better. And we'll do it right here. Okay. So if you look here now, we it shows that we're doing one kind of parcel farmland boundary points we we put four of those so that's these basically the box that we made around our area uh the tree the tree count is 13 and then it gives you the square meters or depending on what you have square square feet now go in we'll, we'll put this display result back in and hit generate 3d flight route now this is what i have to sometimes if i notice if i to toggle enable obstacle sensing and you also need to make your flight width route width smaller now it's going to get all of them so and this is this is where it gets kind of cool i mean this is all just this is basically what was created from the phantom 4 rtk so now you can kind of see it's over these trees and this is going to be the flight route this little green dot boom that tree this green dot 
boom, right there, and so forth. So we'll give you kind of an overview now. So here, this is how you can kind of see how it's going to be, um, how it's going to be spraying. All of these trees right here. And there's just, there is, there's so many ways that you can, you can change. This is probably, so I just changed the route angle and now it looks like it's a little bit better. You know, now it's going to be doing kind of like a, it's basically going to be doing them all in a row rather than the way it was before. I think we had, uh, let's see, we'll go back here. It kind of hit like, you know, it's hitting this drone, then, or sorry, hitting this tree and then going to that one and then the rest of it. So I think it makes more sense just to basically do it in, in, in a line. So there is a little bit of uh, manipulating that you have to do to, to get it the way that you, you need to, but um, we've, we've tested it out and, and it's, it's, it's pretty dang accurate, which is really cool. All right, so same, same thing here. Um, we now, we're gonna save this so the mission is saved and then we're going to export it to basically our let's see well we'll just pop it in here okay so now we've exported it and we are basically ready for video three that we will be putting out uh soon too hopefully we won't get any more 60 mile an hour winds so we've finished part two we've basically done fruit tree mode and also just field mode and we're going to be doing part three real soon and you're going to be able to see how the 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 agrass in this case the t10 will actually uh spray these these uh, missions that we've created so stay tuned to the next one and uh hope to see you back thanks again